Hey y'all, so the video that y'all are about to see will be my um my Lipo 360 BBO um surgery that um I had at Spectrum Aesthetics uh in Miami, Florida and my surgeon was um Dr. Krigo and he did an amazing job and I'm ready to get into this video just as much as you are. <laughs> Let's get to it. Good morning, YouTube. It is surgery day. I am nervous, okay? So, um, my surgery time is 7 a.m. And um, it's about 5.45 right now. So, um, I just got out the shower. Um, I can't put any moisturizer on, no lotion, no edge control. No deodorant, nothing. You going in there crusty. So yeah, um, whew, I don't know y'all, I'm just hella nervous. I really am. And yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be wearing. Um, they prefer that you wear something that's like a button down or a zipper, so um, it's easy to put on after surgery. And oh, let me go grab one more thing. I'll be wearing this robe, y'all. You're gonna be really cold right after surgery. Oh, I gotta take my contacts out. You can't have any contacts in y'all at all. One of my contacts fell out last night. <laughs> so I don't have one in, but it's cool. I'm blind in the back, so I'm about to put my glasses on. Oh. That's better. <laughs> I look like a grandma. But anyway, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing for the day. And yeah, um, if you're a Krigo patient, you have to have your binder, your ad board, and your phones. Um, and you have to take that with you to surgery because they put that on you after you get out. So yeah, I don't know if every um, surgeon does that there, but I know Kriegel does. So are you prepared to bring those with you or you can also buy them at the Spectrum at your pre-op. So yeah, um, y'all, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm afraid for the pain, that's about it. I think, you know, Kriegel gonna snatch me. I'm not worried there, but what I'm worried about is the pain, y'all. I do not take pain well. And I've been praying all day yesterday. Shoot, for the past month, I've been praying every day to make sure that I'm straight for this um, surgery. And, um, now I'm gonna show you guys how to make your bed before uh, you head to surgery. So when you get back, you can lay down as soon as you can. All right. pre-op body so <laughs> this is the best y'all gonna get because i'm not finna show my naked body on youtube honestly but yeah um you can kind of see it if you turn to the side you see i got a gut um if i get pre-op uh, pictures i will put them in this video and i'll probably just like blur out the you know the private parts or whatever so yeah let's get this started i am on my way to iBody right now bye Hey y'all, so I'm in the back. Don't mind my, my bonnet. It's, I probably have to take this done down, honestly. But yeah, um, I'm in the back 
and um i just took my COVID test again and i also took um a urine test for you know thc nicotine and pregnancy but anyway um i'm kind of pissed because my tripod broke so i'm really just using my hand now but yeah i am waiting for dr kriegel to come in here to mark me up oh i can't wait to meet the famous kriegel y'all <coughs> oh anyway so yeah pray for me y'all i'm scared <laughs> just as much as y'all are <laughs> but yeah bye hey y'all so kriegel came in and he marked me up Yup, and he told me he could get all of my stomach, so I'm very excited about that. As y'all can see, I broke my tripod, and I'm so upset, but it's okay. But yeah, um, now I'm just waiting for the anesthesiologist to come in, and we're about to get started. Oh, oh, by the way, it's only 7.40, so I got here at 7, so that's a plus. Like, I'm not waiting that long at all. So yeah, next time y'all see me, I'll be <laughs> out of surgery, so pray for me, y'all. All right, bye. Down, my dear. Oh, I'm in pain. <laughs> this shit is not for the week. Hey y'all, so I made it to my hotel room or my Airbnb or Verbo, whatever you want to call it. But um, in the car, I was flat out crying. That shit hurt. And uh, y'all, I took my pain medication right away. They uh, gave me, uh, was it Percocet or Oxycodone? Yeah, Oxycodone. I don't know if it's the same thing, I don't know. But um, I feel a little bit better. Okay, so coming out of surgery, the pain was a good eight. And now it's about a three, four. But other than that, y'all, I love Kriegel. He made me feel so, so good before I went in there. Like, he asked me about my job. He was very interested. Um, he told me he could deliver what I wanted. But um, honestly, I haven't seen it yet because oh, I literally just got here. And I think I have my bones in my born in i can't really tell or really feel it but yeah yeah i'm still in a lot of pain i don't oh my chin strap is coming off but like yeah um i got chin and arm lipo <laughs> as well i don't know if i ever told you guys that but um and he also got like my upper back or whatever so shout out to him because i was not trying to look top heavy you know so um yeah, I'll probably check in with you guys a little bit later. Um, shout out to Danny. But, oh, and I think, 
Something wrong with my lip, y'all. Like, and did I bite it? I don't know. Oh, you can't really see anything right now. But like, if I, I'm tasting, like, have you ever like, I don't know, but yeah, I feel like a. Y'all see where my tongue is? Like there, something wrong right there. I feel it hurt. Not, it don't hurt. It just, it's not normal. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm actually feeling a lot better, y'all. I just laughed. Anyway, um, I still feel a lot of tightness in my butt. Um, it's a little pain. It feels like soreness now. So, um, I'm probably going to be interchanging between the Percocet, or not Percocet, the Oxycodone and the uh, Tylenol. Because I don't want to use all my Tylenol. I mean, my uh, per <laughs> what is it called? Sorry, y'all. I'm still trying to wake up from this anesthesia but um what was i even saying something about oxy oh i'm um gonna be interchanging between oxy and um tylenol so i can you know preserve my um oxycodone for my massages so my pre-op tomorrow is at 11 30 11 30 and my massage is at one o'clock so hopefully i can just knock out both at one time don't have to wait too long or whatever but yeah oh my arms are so sore Ooh, let me just lay my head down real quick um um yeah y'all made it to the flat side um i really i can't wait to look at my results um I'm probably not going to look at it today. Maybe if I walk past a mirror, I might look, you know, glance or whatever. But I'm going to wait till after my massage tomorrow because I'll, I'll be able to take my shower. Um, I can't take a shower until after my massage. I don't know why. But, yeah, I think they want to examine me before I do that. But, um, yeah, y'all. Um, I ain't doing nothing today, <laughs> obviously. I'm just going to be in the bed. Probably watch me some snowfall. Y'all check out snowfall. That shit is crazy. Like this season four, I've been on the edge of my seat since the opening act of <laughs> season four. Like, oh, goodness. Like, rest in peace, John Singleton and everybody else that made this series. Y'all, a one. Y'all deserve a. Good what is it when you get a uh, Oscar? Oscar? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really into stuff like that. But yeah, they deserve it. But yeah, um, now I'm going to call my friends that, you know, checked up on me. Anyway, um, I love you guys. <sighs> I do. Uh, you're just a little sore. I don't want to interrupt you, but let me take this medicine because you got, I'm going to face out some medicine. Huh? I said, I'm going to give you this medicine so we can face them out. You got to take one more today. One more what? Medicine. Which one? Medicine. This one right here is for iron, low iron. Oh, okay. And the one after that is going to be for, um, I forgot. And you have one for upset stomach and nausea, so I don't know if you're going to get sick or not. But let me know if you're stuck in upstairs or stomach. Okay. Well, y'all heard my nurse. I got to go. So, I'll see y'all later. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll update you guys for the rest of the day. Today, I'll probably uh, hit y'all tomorrow. But, yeah. Oh, is some. Okay. All right, y'all. Bye. Uh, hey, y'all. So I'm, I'm going to show y'all how I get out this bed. <laughs> I'm going to be in hell of pain, so don't mind me. But oh, here we go. Oh. oh, my boobies. I forgot about that. Every hour you have to walk at least five to ten minutes. So, yeah, here we go. Ooh. I just took some more pain medicine and it hasn't kicked in yet. So, yeah. Walking um, helps prevent some blood clots. <sighs> Oh, my chin thing. I look crazy. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. You, you're moving around a lot better, though.
I'm not draining like that either. Like, they said you could either drain in your pee, which I haven't peed yet, or you can drain like through this drain, but. Oh, how long have I so? You now have two minutes left. I'm coming for you, Danny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big. <laughs> Big. You can imagine a zombie walking towards you like this. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I'd be scared for real, for real. As long as I ain't going mm -hmm. Lap it up. You are draining, especially in this one on your back. And I can see it coming through the white cloth on your back, too. So that means it's going through several layers on your back. Uh, how much longer? You have one minute left now. I think this may be the first time you did a full five. I've been letting, I've been leaning on you. I have. <laughs> I think you jumped the gun at me. I feel like I'm about to fall right now. Nuh-uh. You got 30 seconds left. Lean on the bed. Lean over. Don't fall. Uh -huh. Don't be rolled. Keep your eyes open, girl. It make it seem like you're going to faint. Lean on against the... Ooh, it's missing. Alcohol. Okay. Hey y'all, so earlier I felt like I had to faint. And um now uh Danny's taking my blood pressure. Um and she's also taking my temperature to see where I'm at right now. <coughs> But yeah, I got this uh, blood pressure monitor off of Amazon. I think it was like, what, $20, I want to say. But yeah. Oh, oh so you got it. So, so. You good, Shady. I got to put it all the way. It's supposed to be on the inside of your arm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh, she's tall. Keep the mm -hmm. cup at heart level. Oh, Start measuring. I did like $20. I'm about to say. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. Ooh, come on now. Stats again, Danny. 132 over 81. So, yeah, Your Danny said that's good. Heart rate is 81. Okay. And the box said it was normal. So, we just gonna go with that. Um, I also trust Danny. She got her degree in biology. So, you know. Yeah, put this hand on. Oh, I'm gonna say, girl. What? <laughs> She's taking my temperature now. Mm hmm. What that mean? It's normal. It says yellow range. What does that mean? And you don't have a fever. You're not. You didn't break a hundred, but you're not. Uh, a hundred is a fever. So okay. you're like right underneath it. 
Okay. So I'm gonna take it again here in like 30 minutes. Okay. Anyway, yeah, you heard the lady. <clears throat> She's gonna take my temperature again 30, 30 minutes later to see if I'm straight. But yeah. So what happens if, you know, I break a fever? What I gotta do? Uh, you know, I said, Honestly, I don't think you're supposed to be running a fever. Huh? I'm not supposed to be running a fever because a lot of fevers can cause. That's high break. He was probably brain damage. But that's high break, like 104, 105, oh. 106. Hmm. Well, girl, <laughs> don't you're make good. me nervous now. No, you're good. You're good. Like I said, I'm going to take it here. But you got to realize, too, you were just up moving around. And you know you're always hot after doing that. Yeah, y'all. So, like, every time I walk around, I do get hot flashes. I think that's a side effect after getting a surgery like this. So, yeah. Um, I only felt lightheaded once, and that was just this time around that y'all just saw. That was, like, my third, fourth time walking around. But, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, everything hurts but my chin. Like, the chin, like, the incision where the incision is hurt. But yeah, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later and continue to pray for me because, yeah, it definitely worked today. And I, and I thank all of you who did pray for me. It did not go unnoticed. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey y'all, so I am one day post-op and I'm not to scare nobody but I've been fainting a lot today. Um, I got these alcohol swabs because it's supposed to wake you right up and I'm telling you this is the truth, it does. Um, you said my blood pressure was lower today, right? Mm -hmm. It was lower, it was normal but lower. Um, I had my massage today and I had my post-op appointment and I felt a little bit better after that. I'm good. And then, um, what else happened? Um, I, oh, I, I was able to take my first shower today and I felt better after that. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all. When I have to pee, I sit down because for some reason I can't pee standing up to use that urinal. What's it called? Urinal. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, y'all. Um, that's all I really have to tell y'all. I'm getting tired. I get hot too, standing up randomly. Not randomly, but when I get up, I do get hot. So I don't know why I put this robe back on. But yeah, um, I'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow. I'll probably show my massage tomorrow because um, I am getting a massage by Team Massage by Ari. So, uh, yeah, they're coming to me, so I'll probably be able to, um, record better tomorrow. But, yeah, um, like I said earlier, thank you guys for your prayers. Um, it's been, it's been an emotional roller coaster for real. It's so, yeah, okay. um, I'll okay. talk to y'all tomorrow. I'm crying, she's temporary, it's okay. It's okay. Action man. Hey y'all, so it's, uh, I'm two days uh, post-op and I feel so much better. Um, I had a really rough night. My arms were throbbing, y'all. I Okay, if you're getting Lipo 360 with a BBL, I do not recommend you getting your arms because you have to use your arms so much. Like, your upper arm strength has to be A1, I'm telling you, because this shit hurts. But, um, yeah, everything else feels fine. Um, just know the normal pain. I take my medication um, regularly on time, thanks to Danny. So, um, yeah, now I'm just going to walk for another five minutes this hour. And I'll probably uh, come back to y'all when I'm during my massage. But, yeah, um, hopefully this massage makes me feel better, even better, because I low-key want to go to the beach today. No, it's supposed to rain today. I want to go on Monday. So, yeah, um, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Oh, shoot.
So I decided to walk outside because it looks beautiful out here. Oh, I need to move to Miami, y'all. I think that might be the next, uh, you know, location. I gotta find an engineering job down here. <laughs> but yeah, it's so beautiful out here. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Oh, it feels so good out here. Oh, as y'all can see, <laughs> I have, I took off this uh, this bandage on my arm because that, this is the arm that was throbbing really bad last night. This one was fine. I, it might have been how I was laying on it, I don't know. Or it might have been too like compressed, I don't know. But that bitch hurt, y'all. So yeah. Oh, I feel like I look so ugly right now. I can't wait to show y'all. I didn't bring an alcohol swab out here, I don't like that. What? I don't bring an alcohol in the pad with me. I feel fine, I don't feel like I have to pay anything. I can't wait to show y'all me, like, you know. When I say you are getting together. around so much better. That's good. Like, so much better. Now it just feels like I worked out my booty at the gym. It's a little sore. My arms feel better. My stomach only hurts when I have to get down and lay down. But I'm probably not going to be laying down on time soon because I don't feel like it. It feels so much better standing up. Can they hear me? I'll just listen to the video know. later. They may just hear the water down there, but I, that may be too far too. Oh, okay. We'll see. Ooh, we should we'll at see. least go by the pool today. No, no, it's supposed to rain. Monday, we should at least go to the pool. Right? What time do you think it's open? Hey, y'all. Um, so I'm about to get my second massage by team, massage by Ari. This is Tabitha, and she'll be my masseuse for today. <laughs> And yeah, we're about to get started. Okay. Wow. That's our baby. Hey y'all, so today is day four and I'm feeling so much better than I did those first three days. So yesterday I didn't record because um, I was just going through a lot mentally, emotionally, physically, and I just didn't want to show you guys that. I didn't want this to be like a depressing video the whole time, you know? So anyway, um, today is day four, like I said, and I just got back from my fourth massage and I'm feeling amazing, y'all. Not amazing, because I still have a little pain. And I still have my drain in. And um, from what the nurse was telling me, the massage therapist was telling me earlier was the reason why I have pain down there is because the drain's all the way down there, like in here or whatever. But yeah, um, later on today, I will be going to Pretty Girl Curves to get my stage two faja and a chin garment and um, arm garments to help compress those as well because I did get a lipo in my chin and my arms as well. So yeah, um, today's a beautiful day. I hope you want to go to the beach too. I'm feeling up to it. Oh y'all look, somebody's playing basketball. Oh yeah, I can't switch my camera over while I'm in video mode. I don't know why. Apple, do better. Anyway, um, yeah. Oh, and later on today, I will show you guys my results as well. I don't know. I feel like I want to do that as a surprise, but we'll see. But yeah, um, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, as y'all can see, I got my tripod. I just picked it up from this Amazon um, delivery place. So yeah, um, I will check in with y'all later. Bye. But yeah, I'm going into Pretty Girl Curves because I'm going to get a second stage to uh, Faha 
just so you know i won't have to wear the same one over and over and yeah so we're about to head in and yeah i'll talk to you guys later yeah. <laughs> Um, I am five days post-op and yeah, 
we are heading back right now. Um, I'm in my back seat with my mattress and my truck pads and shit. So I won't, you know, um, leak or anything. Because they took my drain out this morning when I went to go see Kriegel for my follow-up. He said everything looks nice. I'm just still um, swollen. So he said give that some time and then I'll be looking perfect. So I'm excited. And then um, after my follow-up, I had to go to my massage at 10. Um, at Spectrum the last day really hurt and I think it was because the lady was really rough with me but um it's cool or whatever I felt good after and um now oh after that I had to go get my taping by massage by Ari so yeah um, she said I didn't have any loose skin but the taping also helps with inflammation so she um you know still tape me or whatever and i'm excited to see those results in a few days so i'll show you guys that but yeah we are on our way back to orlando right now so, yeah miami was fun while it lasted not really <laughs> i'm just talking i will catch up back with you guys when i get there to show you my results bye hey y'all so, did y'all enjoy the video? <laughs> if not, then why is you here? Yeah, um, let's get into my results because that's what y'all are waiting for, right? Anyway, um, but yeah, these are my results and my hips are there, okay, honey? <laughs> I mean, I had a little hip, but like he filled in my hip dips and gave me a little bit more. Um. So going into surgery, my uh, waist was a 36. Now it is a 32 and I am still very swollen. Mind you, I am 18 days post-op and you're gonna be swelling for six months to a year. I have a lot to go with my waist and my stomach. So don't come for me. Don't come for me. Cause it's still working. I mean, I'm still wearing my compressions for my arms. Um, my stomach is still very swollen. It's gonna get way skinnier than this, so I'm excited for that. So I am on the uh, third hook. So as y'all saw earlier in the video, um, I was struggling getting it on the first hook, but now I can get it on the third hook with my phone and boards in. So that's good. That means my uh, my waist is shrinking. And yeah, I love my results, y'all. <laughs> This ass, like, this is what it looks like from the back. Ooh. <laughs> it don't really jiggle too much just yet. But it's getting there. <laughs> but, yeah. I love my results. I feel like it gets fatter every single day. Um. Oh, yeah. Um. Me and my cousin did go to City Walk today, so she got a video of me walking, so I'll probably post it right now. Hey y'all, <laughs> so y'all saw that booty? <laughs> That thing's sitting, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, um, oh yeah, let me show you my, um, my incisions. So this is my chin incision. So I do have stitches in all my incisions and, um, they're dissolvable. So they go away within like a few weeks. So I got a couple more weeks to go or whatever. So, you know, it's just going to be sitting there until it's ready to go. But anyway, um, yeah, so... Oh, let me show you my arm incisions right there and one right there. Y'all, don't be like me. Make sure y'all wear um, your arm garments. Make sure y'all wear your chin garments and don't take it off for nobody. Sis, what are you doing? Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Be better. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
as soon as I get off this video with y'all, I will be putting it back on. And I also will be putting my phone boards in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell a friend. Oh, so y'all showing out. So I have 48 subscribers already. Thank y'all. Like, okay. So in the beginning of the year, my new year's resolution was to start my YouTube channel and have at least 250 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm, I'm not at a good start right now. So thank y'all. Like it means a lot to me. Um, I'm going to get into why I started my YouTube channel. Um, maybe in another video, but yeah, um, I just want to say thank you for y'all support. Um, so many people have been asking me about my journey and you guys have been so supportive and asking questions and I'm glad I could be here to help as well. Before I go, I want to thank my college best friend, Danielle. Y'all, without her, I wouldn't have gotten through my procedure at all. Like so many people, I asked so many people to help me out just so she wouldn't have to do it alone. And as y'all can see, they all flaked on me. Some people had good reasons, some people didn't. And that's why she's my best friend. Like she always comes through for me. And I love her for that. Um, get y'all a Danny, period. <laughs> get y'all a motherfucking Danny. Um, I love you, girl. Thank you so much for helping me out. Um, I could, y'all. I couldn't even wipe my own ass. <laughs> I couldn't even take a shower by myself. That's how disabled I was, and she was there to help me through it all. Like. Not too many people would do that for you. And I thank God for her, period. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell a friend. <laughs> oh, this chin stitch is not cute. But yeah, um, I'm about to go put my compression garments back on. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.